गाइस पूरे टाइम्स फैशन वीक 2018 डे टू एंड ट्रस्ट मी नोबडी एल्स बट अर्चना कोचर कुड हैव पुट अ बेटर एंड टू दिस व्हाट हाउ डू यू फील बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ सच अ मैग्नानिस मैग्नानिस इवेंट एंड लुक एट योर शो स्टॉपर्स दे किल्ड इट लव द वे दे आर लुकिंग आई जस्ट एब्सोल्युटली लव देम एंड लव द वे दे आर लुकिंग यस and of course it's all your hard work and your thought process would you want to tell our viewers what your inspiration was behind each and every look that's right here so um, basically what we have shown is indian couture and indian couture is best seen at indian weddings yes. so what we have shown is a collection that somebody a bride would wear for her various collections so um, uh, various functions of the wedding so something like this she would wear for a reception something like this she would wear probably for a sangeet so what we have done is we've gone through lehengas and sarees and anarkalis and gowns uh, all the silhouettes that um, a young bride could wear and look lovely in that is amazing how do you feel oh my god look at your outfit you just like Wow like a princess on board I've always been saying this since you know since I got to know that I'm going to wear this yeah. it's it's my cinderella moment for Thank sure you, this Thank is you. it and this is it and I I really have to thank her and Pony Times both for making this happen today you know it's absolutely. it's absolutely a dream come true and that's why it's a cinderella moment yes this is a cinderella cinderella moment what about you how do you feel you look a pretty lady in yellow thank you, thank you so much i am actually debuting <laughs> tonight wow yeah. oh my god guys she's debuting and she's done a fabulous job oh, don't you think i should yes it, she did such a fabulous job i i love the way you opened my show it was really nice that's really honoring i mean i'm debuting with her i'm debuting with actually pune times fashion week and i am definitely wearing this for my wedding thank you <laughs> i bad speaks a lot if she said that for a wedding oh so do you say that no i can't say that because i got married 7 years back i don't like the way she's saying like i got married <laughs> no, because i can't wear this outfit pehen lo bas i can remarry yeah. the same guy and do that that just do that with arshna's creation but on the oscar red carpet something like that there you that is awesome. you have to dream big don't we right <laughs> yes of Absolutely. course and with this outfit of course i'm going to dream this big for sure what about you how do you feel i mean this is an amazing moment it's right ordinary moment for me because working with arshna ma'am is it's it's insane and the jewelry which we are making it's basically more of minakari and that's what it's going with her culture it's 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 looking insane great great feeling i know and i watched the show and arsha i must tell you that every outfit was so beautiful that i couldn't stop wondering ki yaar main ye kab pehno ki kaash main ye ye kahan pehno thank you so much you know i'll tell you anything that's made by a beautiful heart will always be beautiful thank you thank you so much thank you she herself she is such a stunning woman yeah. herself right yes she is indeed thank you thank you but i'd really like to thank both my show stoppers i think you all really did an amazing job uh, i love the way you ended the show and i love the way um, you opened the show and it's really difficult to walk in something like that but you did it brilliantly and i must congratulate on your jewelry line because i absolutely love the meenakari jewelry and the individual pieces um, you know very creative very nice so you know that was really nice and i definitely want to thank pune times and the entire team of pune times because i think the organization was sensational and they were there taking care of the uh, the you know the smallest um, things um, so three cheers for karmik here also and the entire team of uh, uh, pune times and bombay times who's handling this absolutely arshna before we close the show i want to ask you what are the upcoming trends that you think are going to set 2018 on fire and that you know some tips that you know uh, the college goers or the aspiring fashionistas would uh, definitely need to have on their minds before getting into this profession um so you're talking from a designer coming into the profession or from a bride wearing it or from a college sister wearing it you can give us a gist of everything because i know you're a pro and you can totally do this <laughs> so if if you look at the brides yes. um i think that the fashion is becoming very global um all of us have become global citizens um and we do like india and our indian culture a lot but we've evolved um so i think fusion is the word when you're doing um your bridal wear so you wear a little bit of the east with the west our east comes in our cuts and our beautiful embroideries which we do the best and the west comes in um you know some of the fusion uh, cuts that we you know borrow and they merge into one so i think if you're a bride fusion is something that you could really look into and also um as a bride of today uh, should not think of um, okay i'll wear this outfit and that outfit she should think of i'll wear this look and that look so we've evolved from outfits to looks and i think the brides should also evolve their thinking into that and similarly with the college kids if you look at the college kids who are going to college and they want to do fashion and look 
fashionable. Um, so I think it's very important that you invest in yourself and you um, invest in um, invest the time into creating looks for yourself. Wow. See, art is not only what we hang in our walls. Art is also what we do onto ourselves every day, women. So you know that when we pick up that brush and we do this eyeliner, that's also art, that's isn't it? Awesome. Um, you know, when we wear a red outfit and we take a grey bag, that's also art, isn't it? We are merging two colours. And it's so beautiful, we enjoy it throughout the day. It's like, you know, you eat a yummy dessert, so you look yummy and you enjoy it. So I think that's what, um, you know, you know, isn't it? But you need to invest um, yourself invest in... Yourself. So I think, yeah, I've covered both your questions. Anything Absolutely. else? <laughs> no, I just want to know and that away. Designers? Yes. I think um, as designers, so, uh, you know, if you looked at it a couple of years back, it used to be, um, okay, I'm a designer, I'll make these garments, I'll make that garments. But I think people should now think of um, things like being a stylist, where you can just put the looks together. You don't need to just See create. How, happens, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, just create the magic by um, putting a lot of things together. And yet you're important and you get your um, this and you don't have to go through the whole nitty gritty. So that's very important. I think fashion photography is awesome if you get into it. So designers who are becoming designers today can invest themselves in um, lines which are fashion, but right next to it and which are not um, so crowded. And I like the fact that she said that, you know, going completely Indian, but if you can just twitch it up a bit with, you know, adding your own style. Mm. Like if you're a traditional South Indian bride, what would you suggest how to twitch it up? Like, you know, South Indian brides have always seen they're wearing saris. What would you suggest for someone like that to just make it completely modern, Archana? So, you know, I would give her the sari still, yeah. but probably I would add a dupatta because that adds some linear silhouette and you know the sari, the volume of the sari breaks. Okay. And then her, I would play with the way she's wearing her jewellery. So probably she can wear something beautiful and create magic on her head. So it's not only about the earrings and the neck piece. Because, In yeah. fact, I would say ditch the earrings and wear, do something very stunning on your head and the way you do your hair. And, and then do, do, yeah, very simple for the ears and then do the most amazing statement neck piece. Yeah. So you know you've created a different um, uh, in different look, yeah. That is amazing. Of course, Arshna Kocher, the pro, giving us the tips on how to nail a bridal look and a college look and everything else. Thank you guys so much for talking to us and um, thank you so much again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you so much. Fabulous. Fabulous.